Hi, my Gemini is Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your November 2016 um, general tarot card reading. Um, instead of using the um, the Dorian Virtue cards and the runes, I'm stopping all that because it was taking too long and the videos weren't getting uploaded. All right, so I'm using the Rider Waite tarot deck. You got three bonus cards. I pulled 10, so you got 13 cards here. Um, I am on Facebook, like me, Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I, uh, I advertise reading specials only on Facebook, so it would be a good idea if you liked me on Facebook. Also, um, personal readings. I do personal readings. Uh, contact me at jamiezebra23 at gmail.com. Readings are 15 minutes for $25, $50 for 30 minutes, and $75 for 50 minutes, five zero. You must prepay before I can schedule your reading because it's not fair to other people who prepaid and then they need a certain time slot. So I can't give you somebody's time slot when, up, when you haven't made a payment. And I don't do IOUs. I, you know, you can't get a reading right now and then you pay me in a year or two. Sorry guys, I can't do that. Um, yeah, this is, this takes up a whole lot of time and a whole lot of energy. Like you wouldn't go to the dentist's office and be like, okay, well, since you're skilled at a dentistry, you should just give me a free, you know, dental exam and free, uh, you know, extractions and free everything. Um, this is this is a this is a gift that I have, but it, it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of energy. Um, also, when you do contact me for a reading, um, I, they're done within 24 hours because um, as soon as you send me that email and I read it, I'm picking up on your energy like automatically. And so like throughout the day, I'm like getting a whole bunch of stuff on you and I'd rather just uh, hurry up and do the reading and uh, if, if I think that I'm too swamped and I can't do your reading within 24 hours I will let you know so you have the opportunity to find another reader but immediately after payments received I'll let you know exactly what time um yeah so it's, it's usually very quickly because I'm already I'll already be picking up on your energy and um yeah it's a lot some of you are going through a lot and that's fine I don't judge but I like to just get it out there as fast as I can all right so the three cards that flew out you got the knight of wands in reverse you got the four of pentacles and then you got the knight of pentacles. So this knight of wands in reverse is saying that somebody's supposed to be changing an address, but they don't want to do it. So Gemini's, you could be dealing with a fire sign. This is a, um, <clears throat> um, this could be an Aries, a Leo or a Sagittarius, or this just could be the energy of what's going on here. So somebody, um, somebody needs to move. They want to move, but they can't move or somebody wants somebody to move, but they can't move yet. Or they're not moving or they're refusing to move or they don't have enough money to move because you got the. You got the four of uh, pentacles here. So somebody's trying to hold on to something. Maybe somebody can't afford their mortgage anymore and they, they just, they can't afford their house. If they moved into an apartment or something, they would be able to pay all their bills and have a little bit of money extra, but they're so tied to this home or so tied to this place that they just don't want to shake things up and they don't want things to change. They want to keep things exactly how they are. It looks like somebody will be able to postpone that leave because there's a, there's assistance coming in. The Knight of pentacles is coming in to assist with this. Yeah, so some of you have money coming because you got the Ace of Pentacles here as well. So this is saying like, uh, like your prayers are answered. There's money coming. You need this money and it's coming. And then you got the Seven of Pentacles here. So whatever money does come, um, there's going to be a lot of you that are like, uh, you know, thanks for the money, but this isn't enough. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune is here. They're saying count your blessings or the blessings can be taken away. Because you got the tower here. So the tower is destruction and uh, negativity. Then you got the ten of swords here. So this is sadness, tears, somebody being stabbed in the back. And then you got the six of pentacles here. So this is saying that um, somebody there's going to be balance made. So somebody's going to get a gift of money and or balance. So like let's say you owed somebody some money. You're going to have to pay it. The devil's here. So possibly drugs, alcohol, obsession could be happening ships are coming in there will be victory the six of wands then you got the nine of swords here so this is sleepless nights and um just personal mental issues like uh yeah the anxiety uh, upset about a situation so if you're new to my channel how i do this is uh there's so many cards and the, each card has so many meanings and then when you put something before and ahead of it it creates you know a whole bunch of more meanings so i like to do a few different scenarios because i'm talking to so many gemini's out there so all right gemini's i'm just gonna let you know that because uh the swords uh you know typically symbolize you guys it looks like some of you are going to be very very stressed out and some of you may um may be suffering this month a bit 
Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Some of you are dependent on this Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo for finances, whether this be your son, your adult son, or money that you get from your son, maybe this or son or daughter. This could be child support money. This could be some of you are waiting on a settlement. This is some of you waiting for SSI money. This is something that has to do with your children, some money coming in that you really need. And, um, or this is somebody needing this money to support these children or to support themselves. Um, the money, the money that's owed, I feel like some, even some of you are owed some money and this person is paying you, let, let's say uh, child support, they owe you $10,000. They're gonna hurry up and come up with $2,000 to keep their ass out of jail. But that $2,000 just isn't enough. You need all that money that's owed just to do what you need to do to save your stuff. So it looks like, see the scales are being balanced here. I don't know if you can see this. Okay, so what it is, it's one person's getting money and the other person isn't. This other person is expecting some money and they're like, what the hell? Where's my money, you know? See how their hands are like, they're kind of looking in surprise and wonder. So this is kind of saying like, um, you're going to get what, what you're owed, but you're, you're supposed to get more money and you're going to feel like, why are these, why are the scales saying it's balanced when it's not? You need to pay me what you owe me. And it looks like the person will, but there's just going to be some delay. You will get, you will get all your money, but there's just a delay here. Um, I feel like this is surrounding children. I don't know why I just do. I don't know how or what, but it's surrounding children. It looks like this person, uh, the person who owes you money, they're going through some things. It's like they, they take 10, uh, 10 steps forward and then 13 steps back. This person is trying to break even as well as pay you. Okay. So it's saying that uh, victory is coming in. It's coming in this month. Uh, people are going to start paying what they owe you and they're going to be paying you big because you're going to feel victorious about it. These sleepless nights, because it's facing this one, this could be personal stress about something else. This, this doesn't have to do with the money anymore. This is just personal stress about the future, about uh, things in your future. Okay, so then there's some of you who are dealing with a very wealthy man. Um, this could be a Capricorn or Taurus or a Virgo. This Capricorn, Taurus or Virg Virgo has uh, promised you a lot of things in the relationship, but they haven't delivered. They feel like they have money, so they don't, they don't have to uh, do, do the right thing. They feel like they can get away with a lot of things. Um, yeah, they feel like the wheel of fortune is on their side. So they've hurt you. They've hurt you emotionally. And they're not considering your feelings. You feel stabbed in the back because of their behaviors. It looks like they, they're just leading you on and they're giving you just enough to keep you around. The devil card is here. So they could be overindulging and, you know, they could be over sex. They could be drinking, drugging. Um, they're, just, they're just not behaving themselves. They feel like everything's fine with it. They feel like they can continue on their on their merry way and continue to, to hurt people because they've got ships coming in, they've got money coming in, they've got a lot of success. Some of you are dealing with a, um, or you will be. Yeah, let me stop that right there with that situation. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign. This is an Aries, a Taurus, or a Sagittarius. No, 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 no. I said Taurus, so some of you are dealing with a Taurus. This card is telling me that they're coming back. So an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo, and because I said Taurus, some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Ships coming in, so they're coming back. If, if somebody owes you something or a relationship broke up, expect, this is a general reading, expect for some of you to be hearing from them. Um, because I said Taurus, there's a stronger pull towards a Taurus. Somebody out there is dealing with a Taurus and wanting them to come back or knowing that they're coming back. And you feel victorious about that, whoever this person is. You're like, I told you you'd come back. I told you the grass isn't always greener. Or I told you that you were going to need me again. And now you do. So for uh, for you guys, uh, it might be a victory that they came back, but they're going to, the pain that they caused you in the past is going to stir back up again because they're returning. So it's going to be a bittersweet victory. The scales won't necessarily be uh, balanced with this victory, but it looks like they are going to be returning. Some of you, uh, take care of your health because there's health issues involved here. If some of you are pregnant, um, don't, don't miss your doctor's appointments. If you feel a little bit funny, go to the doctor immediately. Go to the ER. Um, don't worry about, oh, false alarms or I'm bothering people or maybe I'm being a hypochondriac. Don't, you have to go. Go to the doctor if you think you need to anything spotting anything if you think you're pregnant go to the hospital quick because uh for some reason but there will be victory so you if as long as you go and get it get seen 
you'll be fine. If you don't go and get seen, who knows? Because the tower is here. So a lot of you, because there's a wheel here, a wheel of fortune, be careful with your vehicles. Because the tower card follows that. So some of you get a tune-up, watch your vehicles, take take good care of your vehicles. All right, guys, that was your Gemini 2016 November uh, tarot card reading. Um, like, share, subscribe. Ta-ta for now.